Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you a whole bunch of makeup that I am decluttering from my collection. I went through my drawers and just found that this is makeup I either don't reach for anymore or for one reason or another I don't like. So if you're interested on seeing what I'm getting rid of and hearing my thoughts, then give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. The first product I am getting rid of is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer in the shade Rosewood. I just feel like this shade isn't right for me. It has a bit too much of like a deep red undertone, which really isn't the right color for me. And the formula, I'm just not a fan of. It is really, really pigmented and the brush picks up a lot of product. So it's quite difficult to work with and on such a fair complexion, I can't do that. Once I've worked with it and blended it in, it is a nice bronzer, but for me, the color isn't right and it's just too much effort to work with, which is why I never reach for it, so I'll be getting rid of this one. Next is the Maybelline Master Contour Face Contouring Kit, and this is in the shade. I'm not sure if it has a shade, but as you can see, it comes with a contour, a blush, and a highlight. Now, the contour shade is definitely not contour on me. It's really warm, so I was using it as a bronzer, but it's just not something that I reach for. I have other bronzers in my collection that I prefer a lot more. It is a bit more on the warmer side as well, which is why I think I don't really reach for it. The blush is just way too Barbie pink for me. It does not suit my complexion, therefore I never reach for it. Now the highlight in this palette is actually a really, really nice shade and I contemplated keeping the palette just for the highlight. But again, there's other highlighters in my collection that I reach for first, so I thought, what's the point in keeping the entire palette? The formula of this palette is nice, and all the shades have a little bit of a sheen to them, which I really love. But the blush and the contour shades aren't my favorite, which is why I'm getting rid of it. Next, I have three mascaras, and these are all by Rimmel. First is the Waterproof Scandalize Reloaded, and then I have the Wonderfully Real Mascara. And then this one here is the Volume Shake. Now, I don't know what it is, but Rimmel's mascara formula just does not work for me. All these mascaras have quite different wands. We've got a super, super thick and fluffy one, kind of your regular wand in the middle, and then this one's like a rubbery looking one. And I just don't like any of them. <laughs> I find their mascaras are just way too wet and so they make my lashes really, really clumpy and I just can't get them nice and separated and lengthened because they're just all sticking together. I usually love drugstore mascaras, Maybelline, literally every mascara I've tried from Maybelline I am in love with, but these ones by Rimmel just aren't doing it for me and they've been open in my collection for a while so I don't really want to be using them on my eyes anyway. Another product I have here by Rimmel is the Insta Conceal and Contour Kit. So this is a cream product and it comes with three shades. You've got your highlighting concealer, correcting concealer, and a shade for contouring. Now the formula of this is really nice. I love the Conceal and Correct palette, the one that has a green, purple, and a peach. But these shades are just not the right shades for me. This here is the Conceal shade. Like, not gonna happen. This is the correcting shade. And this is the contour. They are just all kinds of wrong for my complexion and that is why I'm getting rid of it. If you've got more of a light to medium skin tone, I think this would work well for you. And as I said, I do actually like the formula of the creams, but it's just not gonna work for me. Next, I have some of the LA Girl Pro Concealers. Now, these were really popular at one point in the makeup world, so of course I picked some up because everyone was raving about them. So I have two of them here. This is the shade Porcelain, and this one is the shade Medium Beige. I'm getting rid of Porcelain. Even though it is a fair color, I just don't really like it under my eyes. I feel like it's a bit too yellow, and it kind of oxidizes. Here's what the shade looks like. So it is quite fair, but it's a concealer that I just don't reach for, which is 
something you're gonna hear me say a lot in this video, which is why I'm getting rid of it. And then the shade Medium Beige, I actually got this one to use as a contour shade, but it's, it's light, but it's just far too warm. Look at that. Like, what was I thinking? Contouring with that. <laughs> This is the kind of contour colour that I need. This is Dove by Colourpop. Like, look at the difference. What are you thinking? This is going. Next, I have some sprays. The first one here is quite new. It's the Astralis Girl Boss Illuminating Finishing Spritz. I was so excited about this. I've been on the hunt for a really nice glowy finishing spray for a while now and when I saw one available at the drugstore I got super excited but this it just puts glitter all over your face and that's not quite what I'm after I want something that's going to leave me looking fresh and dewy not glittery when you first spray it you can't really see it but once it dries down and you get in the light <laughs> It is just far too glittery, so unfortunately this one has to go. And then I have another illuminating finishing spray. This one is by Makeup Revolution, and it's called the Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray. It says shake well before use, so I thought again that maybe it was going to be like full of glitter. But once I spray it on and it dries down, I just look exactly the same as before. It doesn't leave a nice illuminating glow to the skin and there's no glitter in it either, which is good, but at least with the Astralis one, it says illuminating and they've just packed it with glitter. This says illuminating and it just does nothing. It's like spraying water on your face. Next, I am decluttering all of my ColourPop liquid matte lipsticks. These have been in my collection for way too long and I just think they've gone bad. <laughs> Besides this crazy purple, I actually really, really love, I can't hold them, all of these colors. They are just so beautiful, really, really nice shades. And if I could find dupes for them in other formulas that I love, I would definitely get them. But as I said, the formula of these ones have just gone bad and I never really liked them that much in the first place. They were just way too drying. You couldn't reapply, they just went crusty. I'm not a huge fan of liquid matte lipsticks. The only ones I really like are the Huda Beauty ones because they're really thin and they dry down comfortably. These, way too thick, way too uncomfortable, so unfortunately, they're going. And then the last product that I am getting rid of is the Smashbox LA Lights Palette. Now this was a limited edition Christmas release. And as you can see, it comes with a variety of blushes. You've got one bronzer and then three highlighting shades or like blush toppers. And for the last time in this video, the reason I'm getting rid of this, say it with me, I just don't reach for it. It does have a few shades that I really like. This. I like as a blush topper, I like this blush, this one, and this bronzer. The rest of them I'm just not using. This would be really great if you're a makeup artist and you actually need a variety of blushes for different skin tones, but being so fair, I am quite picky with the shades that I use and these just aren't it. The formula is okay, I do think that the blushes and the bronzer are a little bit dry. The packaging is also just really big and bulky, it takes up a lot of room in my drawers, so that's another reason that I'm getting rid of it. If I reached for it more often, I would be able to deal with the fact that it's so big. Alright, well that is everything that I am getting rid of from my makeup collection. I hope you enjoyed watching today and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. If you're fair, you will especially love what's going on because I create a lot of content about being a white, white gal. Alright, well, I hope you are all having a lovely day. If you use any of these products, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Alright, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!